again. Hello, Hamish. Hello, team. How are we? Good. We're, we're very, very well. Hey, nice to have you here. Um, so we're going into the kitchen today to learn about upgrades. We are. We're going to look at upgrades with uh, Mastercraft head designer Kristen Reed and um, a beautiful new kitchen she went and had a look at. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. Welcome to this beautiful minimalist kitchen designed by Mastercraft Kitchens Tauranga. This kitchen features a beautiful stainless steel top, which is seamless, easy to wipe down, and super hard wearing. Got white cabinets with it, so this kitchen is very timeless. Subtle square pull handles and back painted white glass splashbacks mean this kitchen can be easily updated just by changing your accessory colour. That means this kitchen's not going to go out of date anytime soon. This is a great kitchen for entertaining. This large uninterrupted breakfast bath, but if you want to see where the real work's been done, follow me. So why a scullery? Our kitchens are creeping more into our living spaces and we're using it more as an entertainment hub. So the scullery is where all the work happens and all the prep. You don't have to tidy up, you can just close the door before your guests arrive. When it comes to everyday life, having all your small appliances set up on the bench all the time means you don't have to dig into a deep drawer to get them out to use them. You'll use them more. And we have a spare fridge in here as well. Having all open shelving like this in the scullery is not only cost effective because you're not paying for hinges and doors, it's so practical, you can see everything easily and just grab a recipe book down and see your baking ingredients and just start baking. In a scullery this size, I always encourage a sink to be put in here. We've got open divisions here for prep boards. You can get a prep board out, start your veggie prep and we've got an amazing sized sink here with an awesome tap for the pull out veggie spray. All of that prep work can be done in here, it no longer needs to be done in the minimalist kitchen. Never underestimate the importance of lighting in your scullery. Ceiling lights are always a must, but I always encourage LED strip lighting on the base of your overheads. It's a continuous light, so it doesn't matter so much if you're casting small shadows onto your bench top. If you do opt for the LED strip lights on the base of your overheads, I do recommend you put this on a sensor. Then it doesn't matter if you forget to turn the lights off on your way out the door. Laminate bench tops in the scullery is always a good idea. It's practical and easy to clean, and it won't break the budget. Don't feel like you need to stick with the same materials as you're using in the kitchen. It's okay when we've got a cavity slider door, it's hidden away. It's more important to be practical. Now to my favourite part of the scullery. These vegetable pull-outs are great. Breathable and really, really cost effective. And you can use them for anything. Don't worry if you've already got a scullery that doesn't have these. These can be easily retrofitted. So if you're wondering where the food goes after you've done all that hard work in the scullery, here are the ovens. Going for two 600ml inbuilt ovens rather than a 900 inbuilt oven is a really good option and it's definitely more cost effective to heat a 600ml space rather than a 900ml space if you're just wanting to cook one chicken. So whether you're a busy family or love entertaining, this layout is a good option for you. You can have the party in the front and the business in the back. Awesome. Just say party, party at the front and business in the back. <laughs> <laughs> love it. No, no, that was some um, impressive work there. What did you love? The, being a designer, Hamish, what did you love about the uh, kitchen? Three things I like. I really like stainless steel benches, yeah. and you don't see a lot of them anymore. Yeah, because um, they, well, do they smudge a bit? Or? Well, they, they can do. They can mark up if you go for highly polished, but there are different finishes, like linen finishes, and there's checker finishes, so if you're not into that sort of messy look. But I've always liked highly polished stainless, which ages over time, you know, yeah. so as you mess yeah. with it, scratch it. Um, I like that. I like the twin 600 ovens. Um, if you're a big cook, obviously that works well. I like it also because it looks cool. Mm. Yes. I'm all about what it looks like at the end of the day. And uh, to be fair, having a scullery, I mean, if you've got the space to have that sort of workspace tucked away, it allows you to have that sort of clean line and look through the kitchen. Yeah, you know what I liked about that? I'll tell you mm -hmm. what I liked. I liked the different bench tops. I thought it was a great way to save some money. That's a great Fancy idea. Fancy bench top out the front, then you just your normal one out in the scullery. Yeah. Um, I like that veggie pull-out because you keep the potatoes and onions under the sink and they always there's always that one that goes slimy or you lose it and you forget it and it's, it's grotty. Whereas that was that, they're all there. Yeah, I, like I guess it's got good airflow running through it, so you're right, yeah. Good. Now, you're right. on Nah, Hamish, you yes. are in and out of some pretty impressive homes around Auckland. Sometimes. Yeah, no, and I bet you you have a nosy at the kitchen. So, uh, you know, you said you like sculleries. Are they, be are they becoming more of a feature in kitchens? Well, we're seeing them more and more. Once upon a time, they were probably the realm of um, the expensive kitchen. Right. Mm. Uh, but now they seem to be more of the middle of the road and up, you know. Uh, it, it, 
people have always had a pantry, and of course the scullery is really just an extension of that. Isn't yeah. it? It's just larger, and you've got a bench. You may have a sink, or you may not have a sink mm. in there, depending on how much fruit prep. I mean, I've seen them with ovens in the scullery. Oh, really? well, my, 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 my pantry's about that big, so I don't think I can fit a scullery in it. Yeah, mine's not quite there either. And um, what about the LED strip lighting? Well, LED strip lighting's um, been used a lot more in kitchens these days. We've seen that as a big influence, particularly uh, a lot of people have seen it, say, on um, you know island bench tops for lighting underneath, but in the scullery. Um, as Kristen said, it's a, it's a great way to sort of light the area subtly. If you light underneath our bench top, what you're going to see is all the dirt on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and all the uh, well, that was great. I really enjoyed that, actually. And thank you so much uh, mm. for showing us that kitchen and to K Kristen as well. If this has inspired you and you want to find out more, go to mastercraft.co.nz or you can call their 0800 number, which is on the screen now. <laughs>